Hello and welcome to the channel. The channel is called What Eugene Prints Today. Today I wanted to show you how to add the recycling symbols to your prints. If you're like me, you're printing a lot. And not every of the print comes out right. Sometimes they fail in a spectacular fashion and then go to a scrap pile. So it is a pity and it's sad that they have no chance of being recycled. So at least when we include the recycling symbol, they have a chance of being recycled. If you're like me, you might be designing your own stuff in here. So for example, this was a case for a phone I recently bought, but didn't buy the case with it yet. So I made about eight iterations of this thing and seven of these ended up in a scrap pile. What if there was a way to include a recycling symbol early on? Maybe something that looks like this. So this is the PLA recycling symbol. I included this as a part of the model, but there is an easier way and today I'll show you how to do it through the slicer. The drawback of, of this method, camera, the drawback of this method is that if it fails on layer three, nobody will know what the hell is the plastic here. So let's take a look at an easy and quick way to add a recycling symbol to your print. I'm using Prusa Slicer. I love it. I, I'm i using it for about two years now and it's a pretty cool thing. So today we are going to basically take a look at a quick thing I whipped up. I am clearing up my, my table. So I quickly designed the holder for the surface hub that I have, surface dock. So this is the holder and it looks very simple because it is. However, I want to add a little complication, which is my recycling symbol. So I'll load the modifier and the modifier is going to be that recycling symbol. I'll put the links in the description of the library that I made for myself of different modifiers. So right now we'll see that it's PETG. So it's the type of plastic that I'm going to be printing it with. So right now it looks like it needs to be a little bit rotated. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And also I'm going to snap it to the bed so that it's the right level in here and I'm going to move this around a little bit so like this and like that and sorry my watch is buzzing something has done printing now back to the scene so in here, we got the PATG and it looks like, oh, you're gonna print another part. What's gonna be that modifier, you may ask. I actually want this to be an empty space in here. So I made it about one mil thick. So here I'm going to basically make a little adjustment in here. Uh, I'm gonna need to change the settings for infill and layers and perimeters. So infill density is going to be zero and the bottom is going to be zero and the perimeters are going to be zero and the top is going to be of course zero. So when I slice it, it is going to be empty, which is exactly what I want. So if I just roll it back a little, you'll see that it's gonna do this and then go printing with an insane speed because what could possibly go wrong when you print 
at the 0.64 millimeters. But that's a story of another day. So this way, you just export the G code and it's gonna leave empty space on the bed, which is gonna be good enough for a recycling symbol, which you could put on any model that you have. So you might wonder how does it look like? And happy you asked, because it looks like this. It is, sorry for the crappy Chinese PATG plastic. Not all of the Chinese plastic is bad, but this one was a freaking disaster. It nearly ruined my hot end. So Tianse, if you're listening, fix PATG. I like your wooden PLA, but PATG is awful. So in case, um, you want to say, hey, it's not really visible. Here's the trick, a Sharpie, permanent. And now it looks a little bit more visible. So hope you like this tip. And what I'm trying to achieve is that you put in the plastic identifier. So if they end up in a scrap pile one day, they have a chance to be recycled. Thank you for watching and click that like button if you if that makes sense and consider subscribing because i'm going to be putting in some more videos impromptu in here thank you